There's a do not call list to stop unwanted phone calls, but what about unwanted mail coming to your house? A local man is getting piles of X-rated mail. 27 investigative reporter Amanda Smith tells us about this man's fight and how you can control your mailbox. Blocking unwanted email is easy. Just a click and you're done. But getting rid of actual physical mail is much harder and is turned into a pornographic nightmare for one local man. About a month ago, companies started sending sexually explicit material to this man's house. When I pulled it out of the mailbox, I was so embarrassed just looking at the content that was on the outside of that, that magazine. He's so embarrassed about the situation, he asked me to conceal his identity. It's embarrassing. I, my mailman, I, he looks at me now and just snickers. The problem won't stop. Every day, more and more explicit mail gets delivered to his house. So while he was at the studio, I had him call one of the companies sending the material. I want to find out how did you get my name on your mailing list and who, who authorized it. The company did not have a lot of answers. I do apologize, sir. However, I don't have the specific information. So the best thing that I can do to assist you is to forward your request to our corporate and you don't want to receive any mail from us. Karen Masurkowitz with the U.S. Postal Service says the situation is concerning and might be illegal. There are some things that are not mailable. Certainly worth looking into if, if, if it's uh, sexually explicit in nature. There are services that will block companies from sending unwanted mail to people's homes. And companies are usually happy to stop bombarding people with mail once they know it's unwanted. You know, they're paying the postage, they're paying the printing. So if somebody doesn't want the material, it's in everybody's best interest that they stop sending it. Now the U.S. Postal Service tells me it could take months to completely stop unwanted mail like this, but eventually it should stop. For 27 Investigates, I'm Amanda Smith.